Friday, we take you somewhere new to dine in the D, right? Yes. But today, in honor of Mother's Day, this weekend, we are doing things a little differently. We thought we'd give you a great Mother's Day gift idea, cooking classes to enjoy with your mom. Yeah, Michelle Oliver took her mom to Zingerman's Bakehouse in Ann Arbor to show how you can cook up a fun time. And now she's going to share it with us. So, Mom, are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this all week. Welcome everybody to Holy Whole Grain Pastries. We're really excited to have all of you out this morning. We're going to make some really awesome pastries this morning that are a little bit more nutritious for us, but we're still using all the you know, great items that make it taste delicious. I'm most interested in the cinnamon roll because to get a light, fluffy, delicious cinnamon roll out of a, a whole grain thing, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that works. A lot of whole wheat baked goods tend to end up very brick-like, very tough, dry, so we'll show you how to avoid that. I noticed that they gave us some mashed potato, the potato chunks here, and then I found out, looking at the recipes, that they're going into my cinnamon rolls, so maybe this is the secret. And my mom didn't have to wait long. The mashed potatoes were the first step in the cinnamon rolls. The mashed potato in this recipe is going to help with the moisture in the whole wheat flour, so we don't have to add as much liquid to it. Our teacher, Nikki, was full of helpful tips. We've sprayed these containers with nonstick cooking spray, and that's a little trick when you are measuring something sticky. Spray it with nonstick cooking spray, and then it comes out of there a little bit easier. Now I put the butter in? Maybe two? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I put the butter, the honey. In there. Honey. Remember to put your eggs first in there and then in there. We want to stir until the mixture comes together into a dough. Then we're going to get it out onto the tabletop and do some kneading. I'm interested in how potato peels are. <laughs> I kind of want to pick them out. <laughs> it is so sticky. <laughs> Even at the end, it's pretty Look nice. Look at my hand. I know. I have like yeah. half of my dough on my hand. We kneaded and let the dough rise a couple of times. So in the meantime, we made some apple ginger muffins, sampled some biscuits, and baked some chocolate chip cookies. Then it was time for the rolling. But as I dumped my dough out, there was a little surprise. Oh, oh there's a cup in this. We're good now. <laughs> Rolled the dough out to roughly 15 by 20 inches. Then we covered it with melted butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, and a few raisins. Now it's time to roll them up, cut them to size, and put them on the baking sheet. As always, my mom helped me out. I like how I'm just like fixing these things. I put them down, she's like, move that one over. Oh, look at this, the color. Place them out. <laughs> You can tell she's the more experienced one. <laughs> After we let them rise for a few more minutes, into the oven they went. Once they were done, the teacher then drizzled them with icing. Brilliant delicious. So can you taste the potatoes? Not at all. Just, no, I wouldn't know there's potatoes in it if no one told me. We were ready to head home with our mountain of whole grain goodies. Was this a good Mother's Day gift? It was excellent, Michelle. I loved it. <laughs> So Nikki Lohman is with us in the studio. She's one of the instructors you saw there at Bake Zingerman's Bakehouse in Ann Arbor. And we are the perfect pair for you to teach yes, us what to do and indeed. be the boss of us because you like... I love cookies. Yes. L like is not strong enough. Love. I like making them. And I like to lick the bowl. So we're a good team. Yeah, I like to do right. both. So tell us about this whole idea because this is really cool that we can yeah. come with people mm -hmm. and That's learn actually how to make a healthier cookie or bread or yeah. whatever, right? And who uh, would have even thought that there was a healthy cookie anyway? Is there a healthy <laughs> healthier. cookie? Healthier. Healthier. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah. That sounds so good. Uh, in our bake classes, we teach a variety of uh, different baked goods okay. and cooking. We do all the measuring, all the cleanup, basically all the boring stuff. Cool. You just get to have all the fun, focus on <laughs> learning about great ingredients right. and techniques, and then take everything home that you make. So what do you want us to do? 
Uh, so we have our ingredients here, our whole wheat chocolate chip cookies. They're a slightly healthier version. They're not uh, totally healthy right. because we have all the great ingredients that go into a chocolate chip cookie with right. a few ingredients that make them even tastier. Well, let's get going. Uh, so we have, actually, we have our bowls here. We can get have mixing, a little, put you to work. Okay. Uh, we have some room temperature unsalted butter. And okay. butter okay. is tastier and much healthier for you than shortening or margarine. And unsalted. Unsalted. Yeah. Uh, salt content can vary from brand to brand. Brand. I'll drink so you want unsalted. Real uh, butter, like quality. Real butter, yes. Yeah. Um, we have some granulated Oh, I've got sugar. one too. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't know. I'm supposed to be. Man. I'm yeah, just standing. Dough to get I'm mesmerized to waiting exactly. for the bowl time. You know. Come uh, on, so go. we have our butter. Okay. We have granulated sugar right here. All right. All right. And then our brown sugar is Muscovado brown sugar. Right. Oh, my God. That's my dancer name. What is that? Muscovado <laughs> brown sugar. Mine too. Muscovado brown sugar. So, Muscovado is is an unrefined brown sugar, okay. which means the natural molasses has not been refined Absolutely. out of it. Absolutely. So uh -huh. it's a little bit more, uh, and it's more pure state, and it's really flavorful. Absolutely. Right. And we're just going to mix those up with our spoon a little bit, get them well combined. Okay. We do everything, or as much as we can, by hand okay. at the bake school. So we mix cookie doughs by hand. We need bread by hand. We don't uh, cheat with stand mixers. Okay. Now, why do we have to mix the dry goods uh, separately from the wet ingredients? Uh, so when you add flour to liquid ingredients, you mm -hmm. could end up with little dough balls within okay. your cookie dough, we and we want to have a nice smooth batter. Okay. And I can just say, so, if you get this muscovado brown sugar and a little butter on your thumb, that's probably a good sign. It's mm -hmm. good. Go ahead. It's good. So, I, I, I have a lot of cheesy jokes in class, but I say it's the pre rinse. <laughs> You're pre rinsing your hands. <laughs> okay, All good. right. So once we have that combined a little okay. bit, we have an egg. Yes. And what we like to do is have students crack them in a separate container first, so just okay. on the counter. That way we can make sure that the egg looks nice and fresh. Make sure there are any oh, eggshells in there. Uh, just give it a right. you know, I was look gonna over. Do my, uh, Chuck, yeah. you went fancy on me. It looks good. You yeah. can throw Chuck that in. Fancy. Put it in. We can also throw in our vanilla extract. All right. Awesome. And Real vanilla, not the fake Pure stuff. vanilla yeah. extract. Yeah. Yes. All right. And our egg awesome. is at room temperature. If you add sure. a cold egg to okay. room temperature butter, you could end up with little butter chunks. Okay, we don't and want that, that as because no. Well. Now, this is a great recipe, though. Kids mm -hmm. can make this with mom Absolutely. over the holiday. Perfect thing, yeah, for I love day. making cookies with my son. So yeah. he's almost four, uh, yeah. so he loves to help me out in the kitchen. All right. And cookies yeah. are the best. Listen, cookies are their feel good food, and it's like. You hope there's free cookies in heaven where there's no constant, there's no consequences. I like think they're it there. It would not be heaven without cookies. All Thank right, God. I think we so, got a pretty good mix. Yeah, we've whipped that up a little bit, right? nice and smooth. I'm and then get them to fancy. make our cookies a little bit more nutritious, we okay. have 100% whole wheat flour. Okay. And that has some good fiber, some nice nutritional value. And it's not going to change the taste, right? Not really, not at all. Who are all right. taste conscious? Yeah. All right. uh, we also have some ground flax seeds, and flax seeds are uh, have some nice fiber, some nice mm -hmm. protein. They're also also going to add a little bit of a nutty flavor. I'm so we're actually going to combine our dry ingredients separately. Okay. All right. We have salt, All right. of course, for some tasty flavor. Okay. And then baking powder is, or uh, baking soda, sorry, okay. is a leavener. It's what's going to help mm -hmm, these rise mm -hmm. up. Awesome. And then I just take the handle of my wooden spoon and give those a little okay. stir. We get everything it's well combined. Here. All right. Hey, it's an art, you guys. It's an art. And your mom and you and your mom can do it together. So that's absolutely. A great thing. I love this. Black seeds and you're and making cookies. mess on the table, which is totally fine because that makes them clean a little. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so then we just dump all the dry ingredients in. All at one time. Right. You don't all have to at once. Push it in yep. a little bit by little. Not awesome. at all. Uh, nice. That's one great thing about cookies is you don't really okay. have to be too careful. Awesome. Got it. So and then, we're going to speed this up because we yeah, know you've got yeah. something baking yeah. for us, right? So we're yeah. down to our chocolate. And then chocolate. let's throw in our chopped walnuts, toasted walnuts, walnuts and, and our chocolate chips. Come on. And then on. stir that till it's smooth. Oh, I know there's oh, egg it's about in there, to pop raw off egg. Chuck, but Chuck is, is getting more interesting, isn't this it? This is a bowl that you definitely want to sample. And then tasting time. Love you don't yes. even have to wait till they're baked. Awesome. So we were talking about uh, raw eggs in a batter. As long yeah. as your eggs are nice and fresh, it's totally fine. It is. And as long as they're invisible, most of all. Exactly. See, all these years. I've been doing it anyway. Once we have a nice smooth batter, Right. We are using a scoop to scoop these out. We should get okay. uh, about 21 ounce cookies. Okay. Okay. How about and I scoop and you show us the finished yeah. product? Can I do that? And we use One a scoop, scoop to make cookie? sure they're all the same size. Okay. okay. And then, I've always wanted to say this through the magic of television, oh, we yeah. have some cookies already baked. <laughs> Look. Hey. Day day. Uh, so we beautiful. bake these at 350 degrees for about eight minutes. Uh, I love store it. them in an airtight container. You can also freeze the dough. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How was well, it? Uh, no, I was paying attention. Because the dough was good. And listen, can quality you, control. You can have ice cream on top of the cookies. I've oh. made ice cream sandwiches. Very good. Mm. So remind everybody where you are again. 
Um, so we're in Ann Arbor, mm -hmm. off of State Street, uh, the Zingerman's Bakehouse, and we teach okay. classes five to six days a week. Well, There's thank you for fun. coming here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And we've got the recipe for you at clickondetroit.com so right. everybody can get it there. Thanks for yeah. coming in. Thank here, you I'll so give much you the elbow there.